we measure it and then we assemble it, we weld it, and then for the we take it out. Now it's ready for welding, we weld as far as we can and then we take it out and then we're going to do the final weld. And from there, we put the main jig on the other side. We take it out, we're going to do the final weld on the outside. That is where I'm making a, a mold. This is the development of the mold. We're making the mold from here so it can be look like this at the end. My end result will be like this, but it's starting from Okay, if I explore, bound for Germany. So we're just busy with the with the final final touches on the on the kit side. Uh, this is just going to be a quick bulk kit. Uh, the wings are already being prepared. Fuselage almost done. Controls are installed. So it's just the covering that's part there. Uh, this one's also going to Germany. Also KFA Explorer. It's a Mark III Explorer with carbon fiber and one two IS rotax. Avionics from MGL and radio transponders. This workshop is our, our maintenance facility where we do engine work and also the airplanes electrics get done here as well. Okay, this is our uh, demonstration airplane and we use this for a lot of our development as well. We did some development on the wings. Uh, it's got larger, larger wings, we call it the store wing. And then this one is installed with a Rotax 916 IS. Um, and we're still busy testing and playing with a 916 uh, to see if all the issues are sorted out. Uh, at the moment we've done probably about 10 or, 10 or 11 hours on the 916. And so far so good, the power makes a lot of